gonna be looking at if this cheap laptop that only costs two hundred dollars and it's available for even less on other places can run FL Studio. Now this was a question I was interested in finding out myself if this exact laptop or this laptop chipset because all these low budget laptops from China use the same chipset or mostly all of them which is the Celeron N3 450 which is the budget $200 chipset that pretty much all of them use. Now I was wondering if it can run FL Studio, if I want to make projects on it on the go, can I do that? So I didn't find any videos of that, so I decided to make my own now that I've got the laptop. Stay around till the end for the conclusion, but right now in the process. So uh, it runs FL Studio, you can open it, but the FPS instantly drops to around 30 or 24 when you actually open FL Studio. It runs smooth overall without FL Studio open, but as soon as you open FL Studio, Pretty much all of the CPU is taken. You can't really use other apps open with FL Studio uh, without lag. You could use, but not while playing music, definitely. And uh, so pretty much FL Studio eats all the resources on this. All right, so I made a little project right here and uh, that has a lot of, you know, not a lot, but definitely not as much as some real projects to have but some simple uh, things, some instruments and uh, some modulation and also some effects. Uh, not too many, not on all the instruments and uh, but there are some effects like reverb and compressing and EQ. So this uh, line here pretty much when it goes red that's when you know your stuff is about to start lagging. So basically, I'm gonna play this and we're gonna see how well it does. So, right now, yeah, okay, I muted it on the laptop. So, there is a lot of lag noticeable now, literally, on the whole computer, you'll see lag while playing and this has 19 or around 20 voices and at uh, most times and use about one gigabyte of RAM. Now I'd say that RAM really isn't the problem for this laptop. Uh, I guess if you get Omnisphere and get a lot of Omnispheres open on this, it won't be able to run them. But I'd say that the per first bottleneck would be the CPU. And right with this project, it's already occupying 55% of the CPU. This is not like a really big project, this is a really small project, that's something you can make in 10 minutes. And it pretty much has problems running that. So, you know, you if you want to make a little small project, it's a little bit laggy while doing everything. It will be a little bit laggy, but you can make little small projects on this cheap laptop like this one. But now I'm going to open another project that comes with FL Studio. That is the new stuff project for FL Studio 12.5. And uh, you're going to see that that gets way worse. Alright, so here you can see this is something more like a realistic project. It has a lot of LFOs for EDM music and stuff. It has an ARP and uh, a lot of voices are going to be there. It also has recordings. And if you look at effects, there are a lot of effects. So pretty much every instrument has effects. Now I'm going to play this. You're going to see at the start, it's already going red, but... That's not really the main thing, when we skip somewhere around where the drop things happen Which is right around here Hear this for yourself Right around this spot, it's gonna go terrible. I mean, yeah, and instantly it's pretty much RIP. It can't handle that much uh, effects in the mixer. It's probably the effects in the mixer. As far as voices go, you pretty much can't go over 25 voices on this without sacrificing your sound and uh, after 25 voices, it's it's resting in peace. It's not gonna work well. So if you use FL Studio plugins only, 
you might have a harder time getting so many voices, but if you use like, you know, Omnisphere, Nexus and all those plugins and you want to layer a lot of sounds, you're not going to be able to do this on this laptop because it just won't be able to run it. As you can see, this doesn't even have that many instruments open. Some people layer like five sounds for each line and for each note, you know, and it gets crazy and uses a lot of voices and that uses a lot of processing power. You're not going to be able to do this. So how to make it run better? Well, there are ways you can make it run better with either sacrifices or just changing some settings. You shouldn't use a lot of effects in the mixer. Pretty much reverb is the first effect you shouldn't use. That's that's the one you really don't want to use because reverb is pretty processing intensive and pretty much don't want to use any of them. And if this is your main device for doing that, you might want to do that. And if you want to use reverb still and this is your main device, you want to record the sounds one by one and then like don't play them when you actually run the project. So you actually want to increase your buffer size. I mean, don't put it to the maximum, but like uh, put it to 1000 so it renders a little bit further when it has spare, but this is not a long-term solution and it will still clip if it gets too much. There's not much you can do about having too much except removing. Yeah, like a serious project like this one that uses 70 voices. I'm gonna check. It has a lot of instruments. It has a lot of effects and probably a lot of reverb as well. And you literally can listen to it. Yeah, so something bad about having a small screen like that also is that you can't really see all of these FL Studio defaults and they take up your whole screen and actually leave the screen. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, so you might not want to buy this as your main laptop for production. That's pretty much the conclusion. It doesn't run very well.